Access to affordable homes is fast becoming an unfulfilled dream to lots of Nigerians, with the gaps growing from bad to worse due to drastic increase in the prices of building materials, hence compounding the existing housing deficit in the low-medium-income segment of the real estate market, while efforts of government haven't yielded the much-desired results. Besides issues such as low finance inflow to the industry, slow administrative procedures, high cost of registration, shortage of skilled labor, bad policies, and others that have remained unresolved over the years, the nation's inflationary trends and economic disruptions fostered by the COVID-19 pandemic haven't helped the sector. According to the president of the Nigerian Institute of Building, NIOB, Kunle Awobudu, an increase in the price of materials affects projects negatively because, before embarking on the project, there must have been a budget, adding that increases that were not unanticipated will affect the budget, slow down the project, and translate to the fact that money allocated will not be enough. According to the NIOB president, if firms producing some of the building materials being imported could establish their factories in Nigeria, the cost of haulage, which contributes to a hike in price, will be eliminated. The federal government, through the Northeast Development Commission, NEDC, has handed over 1,000 completed houses to the Borno State Government to resettle more than 500 internally displaced persons, IDPs, and households in Gawam community. The houses were developed under the Special Presidential Intervention Scheme, SPIS, for IDPs and vulnerable persons living in the state. Commissioning the project situated along Dikwa Road, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs, Sadia Farouk, said the resettlement of IDP returnees in the houses will ensure strategic disaster mitigation in insurgency-affected states. The Managing Director of NEDC, Mohamed Al-Kali said the commission undertook the construction of the first 1,000 houses with limited resources, adding that it also funded the provision of equipment for the Technical and Vocational Skills Center for returning IDPs. He disclosed that the houses comprise units of two-bedroom bungalows with verandas and furnished with solar-powered street lights, as well as reticulated with four industrial solar-powered boreholes. Update with Housing Development Program every week on AIT. Housing Development is the first and pioneer housing program in Nigeria and by extension Africa. It remains the authentic voice of the Nigerian housing and construction industry. Housing Development is the only credible and specialized platform for seasoned professionals in the build industry where quality and credible players in the real estate sector meet to interact, showcase, and analyze government policies. It is no doubt that hundreds of thousands of prospective Nigerians who desire to own their personal properties have done so through the assistance of housing development program in the last 10 years. If you are a stakeholder in the build industry, here is where you must be. We are authentic credible and supported by all the leading professionals in the built industry. Housing Development on AIT. Hi, I'm Bob Weinsheng, CEO of iBuild Global. Keep watching the Housing Development Program.